What is good, Grey Gang? Today we're gonna be squirrel hunting with the world's smallest rifle. Now you may be looking at it and say, KG, that is not the world's smallest. Yes, it is, okay? Just calm down, let me explain a second. Legally, this is the world's smallest rifle because on a rifle in the United States, legally to be a rifle and not a short barreled rifle, which is a class three and you gotta do a bunch of paperwork and stuff like that for it, like FBI stuff. Without all that stuff, the shortest barrel you're allowed to have is a 16 inch barrel. This has that barrel. This gun is also chambered in the smallest caliber you can get, which is 22 long rifle. And even smaller than that, this is probably the smallest scope you can get and the smallest handle you can get. Listen, long story short, this thing is built for a kindergartner. Literally. Literally. Like, that's literally what they made it for. It's the safest gun. It's a cricket. It's made for kids, okay? And we're going to try to squirrel hunt with it because there shouldn't be any reason I can't kill a ton of squirrels with it. It's single shot. You open it up. You put a bullet in it. You shut it. Then you have to cock it. Then you pull the trigger. It's a lot of steps. But... It is the smallest rifle in the world. And you know what? By golly, I'm going to go swinging and shooting squirrels with it. But we're going to go ahead and get it sighted in. And by the end of sighting it in, we're going to shoot a paint can with it and watch it explode. Alright, let's see what we're looking at. To load it, you open the bolt, stick the bullet in, you close the bolt, and then you got to come in here and cock that right there. I'm going to put two shots on the target, and then we'll adjust the scope and get it dialed in perfectly. Here we go. Let's see how it fits my hand and stuff. Okay. Okay, it's a little difficult. Here we go. You know, it's kind of loud. I'm going to put another one in. It may also be the slowest gun in the world, okay? I mean, it's it's a process to load this thing. All right, let's go see if we hit the target. I don't know if we did. No, I did not hit the target. Okay, this may take a minute. I'll catch you guys whenever we actually get a sight of it. This here is the paint can we're going to be shooting. Now, it's full of pressure, and it should, when the bullet goes off, literally explode into a ball of paint. We're going to see if that happens. I don't know. I think it's just going to go crazy and start shooting around on the field. Dude, yeah, it'll do that. Sometimes they'll fly up. I'm going to set this bad boy right here, and hopefully it'll paint the target for me. Three, two, one. Well, that was uh, pretty anticlimactic. I told you guys you were going to see an explosion. So, uh, here's one. Anyways, let's go score hunting. Okay, guys, it has literally been about two to three months since we filmed that last segment. But without further ado, boys, here is the miniature L96A1XX, whatever it is, I don't know. I hear a squirrel right over there. I'm going to try to move around and get over next to those squirrels. Like I missed. Try again. No way I missed twice. That's not a hard shot. Come on, make it work. Make it work. Make it work. All right. Now he's down. Um, gonna be honest, guys, that's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Right there, I'm not sure if it was me or what, but I missed the squirrel two or three times. I can't even remember. I'll set old baby, baby sniper right there. And the squirrel's right over there. I think I finally finished him off with a lot, nice little headshot. Domed him right in the side of the face. He's dead. Now, usually whenever you're out here squirrel hunting, you want some kind of camo so that if they look your direction, they're not gonna notice you. But out here today, I have the luxury of walking on a blacktop road, so I'm not gonna be creating much noise. Right now, these squirrels are most likely gonna be over on the ground digging in the leaves so i just figured i'd wear this right here it's actually a new hoodie it's the kg navy blue bear hood if you want this you know where to get it kindle Grave when it comes to shop for slinger oh heck yeah brother i'll kick him make sure he's dead yeah he's dead perfect let's see where i hit him at oh that's so strange i hit him right in the back that's so weird that's not where i was aiming at all i don't know if maybe i was shaking or what but i didn't get a headshot on him that's okay but regardless little baby sniper got it done can't argue with that. I'm gonna keep on hunting, but whenever I get done hunting, I'm gonna skin those up and I'm gonna take them inside and we're gonna cook them in a really cool way. All right, now 
I'm going to show you guys how to hunt late season squirrels. And whenever I say late season, I mean anytime the leaves fell off and after. All right, so what the squirrels will do is instead of being up in the trees eating nuts, the squirrels will actually be on the ground jumping around digging up nuts that they've buried months prior. So what I like to do is just pick a spot to where you can sit and see a pretty good distance out there and just look and listen for squirrels on the ground and squirrels fiddling around in the leaves. Once you see them, pull out your 22, get a good steady aim and take a shot at their head. They're gonna be moving around a lot, okay? They won't sit still for many seconds, but when they do sit still, that's when you gotta take the shot. But anyways, guys, for my situation, I'm just gonna walk this road. Whenever I see a squirrel, I'll take him out. Let's go. Actually, there's a squirrel up there. You hear that? I think he's a little too far though. So we're just gonna keep moving right around here. Well guys, we were on a squirrel right there, but I got a couple tagalongs. They're not even squirrel dogs, they're beagles. I mean, if they, if they could like, you know, find the squirrel, it'd be great, but these are dang rabbit dogs. They ain't gonna do nothing for me. That one's got a bell on it, so I mean. Definitely not being sneaky. This one's name's Joseph A. Bank. Come here, Joseph. Come here, Joseph. Yeah, he's a good doggy. Yeah, he's a good doggy. He's a good doggy. He ain't gonna help me kill no squirrels, but he's a good doggy. Ain't you, buddy? Ain't you, Joseph? Oh, there you go. Okay, bye. Dang. See you, buddy. Looks like I'm alone again. That's fine with me. It's okay. I don't know if y'all can see him, but he is literally right there. Here we go. He went in the hole. All right, there he is. Let's try this one more time. I believe he's dead. All right, well, apparently somehow this gun is now shooting about an inch low, which is really weird. Overall, my thoughts on this gun as a squirrel gun, I gotta be honest, guys, I like it because it's lightweight. <laughs> but that's about the only pro of this gun. The cons are that it's just overall shaped weird. It's not fit for me, it's fit for a kindergartner. The scope's not good, the reticle's not good, it's just an X. And overall, KG's just not a fan of this gun. I mean, I can kill squirrels with it if I have to, but definitely not gonna be my first choice. What you doing, brother Steve? Brother Steve, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, Steven. Oh my goodness, look at the dirt. All right, the squirrel should be somewhere right here. Oh, yeah, there he is. All right, Steve, Steve, you just stepped on my squirrel. Do you even, do you even know what you're doing? You literally stepped on my squirrel. Oh my goodness, this is a tiny squirrel. Yeah, I hit him where I wanted to though. Okay, so uh, I, I, I I know what you're saying. Kindle dude. I thought you were squirrel hunting. Well, yeah, we're taking a little break. And as you can see, we're actually not squirrel hunting no more. We're in Rome. That's because we're I'm going to be trying Roman numerals for the first time. And you're going to get my live reaction. Now, I'm going to be honest, guys. I originally planned to do this outside. But the wind started blowing. And it started getting cold. So, we're just going to be cooking her up right in here. And we're just going to pretend like we're outside in the bush. All right. So, first thing, we'll plug up my hot plate to the jackery. Um... Yes, sir. Okay, we're on. We'll get this thing uh, heating up. This thing is definitely heating up. But in the meantime, let me tell you about the Jackery generator that's making this possible. Now, yeah, I could have just plugged the hot plate into the outlet right over there. But, like I was saying, guys, we're not inside. We're in the jungle. You don't have power outlets in the jungle. But you do have a Jackery generator. The exact one I have is the Jackery Explorer 1000. It is a huge battery life. Right now it's on 80%. Just this one has three 110 outlets, a 12 volt outlet, two USB type C's, and then two standard USBs along with a quick charge. And I believe it has a lot. Sheesh. Buzzing, buzzing. You can charge these from pretty much anywhere. You can plug them into a wall. You can plug them into a car. And I even have solar panels, which I don't have them down here, that you can actually just harvest power from the sun. Today, we're just using it to cook Roman numerals. All right, I think it's time to put in the Roman. I don't think, 
Am I supposed to eat this? Chicken flavor. Now, I'm sure that you guys are familiar with Jackery because they've helped us out on the channel quite a bit. And they're actually having a really big sale on the website right now, which is just jackery.com or the first link in the description. They're actually having a really huge Cyber Monday sale on their site right now, up to $400 off on some items. It's pretty epic, guys. Check it out if you want any of their stuff or to even just check it out. And Jackery has more than just their big power bank, so go over to their website and check it out. As for my numerals, I think they're about done. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead, take it off the heat, and let it sit right there. This is the chicken flavor. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. This is sheesh, bush, and bush, if I've ever seen it. I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, I mean, uh, first impressions. If you hated yourself, I'd be great to eat. Here's what we're gonna do. We're not done squirrel hunting. I'm gonna send you guys back in time about a week to where I took out another 22 and went squirrel hunting. Now it's not the miniature 22, it's a full size 22. And let me just say this, I can actually hit stuff with this one. Oh my gosh, how did I miss him that many times? Oh, there he goes up the tree. All right, there he's down. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. Got him. There we go. This right here is the second squirrel I shot, and I was having trouble finding that first squirrel, but I knew he was right here, and right there he is, guys. Got him. Right there he is. Make sure he's dead, and uh, yeah, nice little squirrel to add to the pile. that what I'm about to say does not make any sense at all. But instead of cooking squirrel, we're cooking rabbits. I know, I know. I don't understand it either, but that's what's gonna happen. All right, check this out. I didn't even kill these. I wasn't even present when these things were killed. But, long story short, I'm in possession of them now, and I'm gonna keep them. And I'm also going to eat them. I have squirrels right here, so it's not like I don't have squirrels. I literally have these squirrels right there, but I'm choosing to cook a rabbit. In my opinion, I think rabbits are more tender because we don't have to boil them for four hours before we fry them. Just like fried chicken. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's a reason that people literally grow rabbits just like they grow chickens. Because they're pretty good. We're about to find that out today though. Is this recipe good or is this recipe just eh? Hello. Today we're gonna be tasting the 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 the, what is this? Rabbit. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know if you guys know what IGA is, but if you do, this smells like IGA chicken. Here we go. Would you look at that? No doubt about it. Would have been nice if it was cooked maybe a little bit longer. V. 
very juicy, very tender. Mm. It also helps if I put seasoning on it, but I kind of forgot, so yeah. If I had to give it a rating, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10, which is really good for my kitchen cooks. What could be better? If I just left it in that dang pan for a few more minutes. Click right over here if you want to see the time where I went and shot squirrels at the lake off my boat and cooked those. Or right over here for whenever I got my first bow kill ever. Thank you.